Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, I'd better start with that first. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, or Merry Christmas Eve. We're inflicting a little bit of pain on myself today. If anybody's doing the Rafa Festive 500, I wish you all the best. This is my warm up, by the way. So if you're wondering when the FTP test is, you have about 15 minutes, so. 15 minutes until we uh, we enter the race, which is um, an Alpe de Zwift race, but it's not to the top. It's only to uh, bend eight, I think. So myself and Tommy have entered. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Good morning. People suffering in a positive way is a great way to start the day. <laughs> nice, I see lots of people have already ticked off a lot of kilometers for the Rafa Festive 500. This, obviously this time last year, in the backpedal community, we'd done, we'd set up some live streams and we were doing a lot of them um, Kind of group meetups and things and in in just a year it's grown to a point now where it's like well the community is is so united that they just crack on and they just do it and uh i almost almost can't keep up with everybody which is definitely not a bad thing what's my target wattage Hey Ruben, long time no see, Merry Christmas buddy, Merry Christmas. Um, my target wattage is going to be about 330, um, and then I'm going to increase it from there hopefully, but uh, yeah, this is a little bit unknown now, a um, little bit unknown, so um, I'm going to find out something today and, and so are you really, so you know, I don't really know um, I did the backpedal festive throwdown race the other day and I attacked uh, in the last 13, 14 minutes and I put in a, a good effort there of mid 300 watts range so yeah that, that gives me a little bit of idea of what I can do but you never know and not to mention live streaming it, streaming it helps me get a little bit more of myself although you know I'm I'm telling you to suck eggs really because a lot of you have started live streaming, which is incredible. Morning all, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I saw that Phil, I saw that. I gave Charlie a nudge next to me, I said, did you see this Charles, did you see this? Well done Laura. <laughs> Yeah, now there's a little bit of a squeak going on. I apologise. Although there's not going to be a lot of talking in this anyway, so you can just mute me and then you won't hear it. What's my FTP at now? My FTP is set at 3.30. Um, but what I usually do, Bertie, is say if it was at like 3.60, I do drop it um, this time of year anyway. Um, this time of year because I'm not really doing interval sessions I don't really bother about having an accurate FTP um, because a lot of my sessions are based on volume and time rather than TSS so um, that's why I'm not too bothered about having an accurate like plus or minus 15 um, watts on FTP I don't stress it so that's all today's uh, number is going to give me is an accurate number that's what we always say isn't it an accurate number rather than a better number so that's it do i gain much weight in the winter 
Um, I don't, it probably comes down to the amount that I ride, really. Um, we're talking like, I probably gain, I probably go from like 60 to like 62. That's probably the, uh, the difference we're talking about. So it's quite small really, isn't it? Okay, I better get ready for this event. In 10 minutes. Not sure if Tommy's streaming or not. Um, but don't forget to give him a shout when we're racing. Uh, Tim Perkin is also racing. You'll have to forgive me if I forget anybody else. Uh, Cadell. Cadell's racing. Cadell Howie. He's got a, got a really good 20 minute FTP. Uh, 20 minute um, power number on Zwift, rather. So, um, yeah, it's not really... Well, it is a race, isn't it? Everything's a race. <laughs> but um, no, you know why I'm using this. I'm using this for a, a little FTP push. So 20 minutes. Hopefully it's gonna take me 20 minutes, roughly, to get from the bottom to um, uh, to where the race is actually gonna end. The race is gonna end at turn eight on the Alp. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, the little, <laughs> the little squeaky noise. It's a funny story. So my bike was really, really dirty, and then I cleaned it, and uh, and then yeah, it um, uh, well, then it started to make noises. So it, it's made noises after I've after I've cleaned it, which is weird. <laughs> so I've obviously um, I've obviously not put. Uh, either enough well I probably haven't washed off the soap in a very specific place so but it's fine you can mute me when the event starts <laughs> that's right Nick thank you Simon uh, measuring power to crank well a good point actually you've just reminded me should I the question is should I measure it at the crank which is obviously the power source I use when I'm out on the road, or should I measure it on the trainer? It really depends where you spend most of your time. I spend most of my time on the road, um, but I know that the difference between my 4i crank and my kicker is very small, it's marginal. So, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna sweat. You know, I'm not gonna sweat the difference. You know, it's not about bigger number, it's about an accurate number, so as long as I've got a ballpark number, I don't really mind. It probably goes against everything you've ever heard, to be honest. You know, everyone's always chasing. Well, not everyone, that's a generalization, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, you know, I, I think uh, measuring your fitness purely off FTP is uh, is a rabbit hole we should, we should always try and avoid. So, yeah. How many times a year do I test on average? That's a great question. Um, I, <laughs> well, it depends how much you race. So if you do like 10 mile time trials, which take you like, you know, 20 odd minutes or something. Uh, and again, it depends on which, what sort of test you do. But a lot of that kind of handles it for itself. So if you do a lot of time trialing or self-paced efforts like that, you know, it could be once a week, <laughs> you know. Um, I've actually had more months in my past couple of years where I've done 10 more time trials and I've actually gained like three watts every week for four weeks. Um, not not really, you know, you wouldn't put that down to necessarily all fitness. You might put it down to pacing changes and everything else. But uh, I think, I think you're right, actually, I think you're right. I think I will measure both. I might, well, I might as well upload them both anyway, do a record. Um, it'll also help me pace it, if I can see the number on the screen. So, what was my FTT from the last test? Well, I haven't done a test in ages. A long time. Um, uh, a lot of my kind of FTP numbers been modeled. So, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, it was modeled, the last time it was modeled, 
with with proper effort. Rubens hit hit the nail on the head there. Tra testing his training and training is testing. Bang on. Um, last time, so when I was doing the hill climbs and I was doing a lot of like uh, a lot of three to kind of sixteen minute effort. Um, I think I did one time trial where I did twenty minute effort. So I got a I got a bit of a range, although nothing over that. Um, and what I found was. Uh, Hang on, let me just set this up. What I found was my FTP was modelled between 370 and 380, um, which equates to like a 20 minute of something like high 390s. Um, but that was, you know, peak Ed. That was peak condition Ed. <laughs> and this is not peak condition Ed today. This is not peak condition Ed. Uh, so, yeah. Um, still, you've got to give it your best, haven't you? So... That's all you can ask for. Um, you know, I think it's it's fair to say that I could see. Um, I think it's fair to say I could see at least a 40 watt drop from that. But if you think about going back to last January, the drop was um, the dr the drop was like from basically like 370 to 300. So you know, if the drop this time without the time off, obviously, from illness. If the drop is only half of that now, then, you know, I'll be quite content with that. Yeah, that's right, Ethan. Thanks, thanks for dropping that in there, because that provides some context for those of you that haven't been around for a while, so... Um, I'm not going to start the Wahoo until we start the effort at the bottom of the Alp, so it'll be a completely clean effort, so I can literally show you at the end on the head unit. Good morning, David. Well done, you racking up the mileage already. Well done, sir. You're going to be flipping leaving us for dust. If I have more in the tank after the first head, we'll continue since this test might be longer. No, just because of, um, just because of, um, uh, of, of, I was going to do a longer test. I was going to do like a 30, 35 minute test, but I'm not. I'm going to do a 20 minute test. Um, so I'm sorry. There's less time for you to watch me suffering. <laughs> Make sure my fan is pointing the right way because that's all we need, isn't it? A fan that's not pointing the right way. Full power straight away. Because I doubt, I doubt I'm gonna be drinking anything. <laughs> doubt I'm gonna be drinking anything. Okay. Try to do it without Ed mode. I think it's impossible to do it without Ed mode. Because it's just going to be Ed mode the whole way, isn't it? <laughs> that's solid, David. That's solid. Hopefully you're feeling better every day, which is, uh, which is what we all want to see, isn't it? Looks like we have a pro racing too. Who's the pro? Hopefully he's not. Okay. Here we go then, so hopefully it's going to be a steady one to the bottom. Although uh, that never happens, does it? 23 seconds. Trying to get comfortable. It's now get too excited too early now. Let's not get too excited. Save the head mode. Save the head mode. Not yet. Surely we don't go racing out the pen here. Gotta take a steady. Whew. 
So I've actually lowered my trainer difficulty before you ask any questions. Trainer difficulty is set to about twenty-five percent. David, you'll love that. Uh, only because I want to be in the big ring. I want to be in the middle of the cassette. I just want to see how it goes. Okay. So we got Kenny in this race, look. Kenny. Fellow Wahoo the Cold Rider. But also a very, very strong climber. So no doubt he's gonna drop me. <laughs> There's a couple of pros. Although maybe they could have paced me. See if I can get a couple more watts out of myself. That's the way I see it. See, I'd like to be at the front here, but it's just like too hard to start. You know, I've got to be careful. You've got 20 minute effort, you don't... Especially me, doing an FTP test out of this. I don't want to blow my doors going into the bottom. Yes, David. <laughs> I want to try and preserve the matchbox a little bit. It would help if I was in a group, kind of in between two here. See, I could join this little group here. Okay, found a little group. Here's Mr. Hurd from Backpedal. Oh, there's our Norwegian buddy. Nice. Thank you, David. We all have that little, that little thing built into our brain where we just wanna, I need to get to the front. <laughs> Ice both fill, yeah. The test starts at the bottom. So I'm just trying to be a bit careful there. They're giving young Tommy a head start. <laughs> Not that he needs a head start, the young whippersnapper. Tommy Hummingbird Blake. 200 beats a minute for the next 20 minutes for Tommy. Oh dear, 25% training difficulty feels like the bomb. If they both line up, Ethan, then I could probably try and better my PB, but we shall see. Splitting up, look. Splitting up. I haven't got sweat on yet, so that's good. I also haven't stopped talking yet. I'm trying to get all my words out now, because for the next 20 minutes you won't hear anything. <laughs> Oh, you mean man, Daniel. I don't think I'm gonna be averaging six watts a kilo. Especially with my weight slightly more now. <coughs> Makes a little difference. Six to 10 watts. <laughs> Makes a bit of a difference. Test starts in about five minutes, probably a little bit less. Oh, Anthony with the 350 prediction. What's your predictions then? If anyone's riding with the pace partner later, let me know when I finish. I'll jump on for half an hour or an hour after this. Oh. 
I'm trying to sneak a bit of draft. It is difficult on this dirt, though. <laughs> Sam wants a kilo, kid. <laughs> Sam wants a kilo. Uh, yeah. No, a draft. Oh, a draft is off, yeah. You might be right, actually. <clears throat> to be honest, it's hard to tell when you're, you're riding your own uh, thing anyway. Okay, last drink. Oh, the nerves. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of both, Phil, so I'll definitely write a power on the first bit and then uh, write a feel. You've always got to be careful. 20 minutes is still a long time, so. Gotta be careful. Okay. Big blob coming up behind. Okay. Okay, let's give it our best then.
Merry Christmas. Three hundred and fifty-five watts for the twenty minutes. So that's uh, well, five point nine roughly. Five point nine twenty minutes. Sorry, Tim, I couldn't type when I caught you on the alt, man. I'm I'm going full gas. I don't know how you're typing. Uh, but uh, yeah, unless it's a copy and paste. <laughs> um, I better screenshot the graph. So I had it on 25% uh, trainer difficulty, which is obviously like a lot lower than uh, I normally ride. But to be honest, it's just so that I can get in the big ring and go in the middle of the cassette. Because um, if I was doing this in real life, because we don't have any 20 minute climbs here, I'd, I'd be doing it on a, on a flat road. So that's roughly the gear I'd be in um, if I was doing it. Uh, you know in real life so that, that's why I opted for that um, I set my FTP to I think 330 so that's why there's so much red there um, that's not common really for me but I'm gonna take a screenshot oh well done um, Oh, so what FTP does that give us now? 340? I think it's 340. Oh. 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 Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for uh, showing me some support there. It's, uh, yeah, if, if any of you stream, which I know some of you do stream, it, it does it does give you that little extra. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, whew. no, we we we're a fair way from the top, weren't we? We're uh, another another fifteen. Well, if it was twenty minutes to there. Yeah, about another 15, 17 minutes, roughly, I think. Um, but, uh, oh, a bit cream crackers after that, no. I wanted to do it before Christmas Day, because I know Christmas Day will set me back a, a couple of days. <coughs> oh, oh, blimey. They're not easy, are they? Yeah, so Zwift got me as 351 um, for 20 minutes, um, but my head units got me a 355. So that's good, that isn't it? It's only four watts difference over a long effort like that. But I'm, uh, I'll go somewhere in the middle. So um, yeah, uh, I use the Ticker Fit Harry mod that goes on my arm. So I don't get like, I know sweaty chest can uh, can affect the heart rate uh, strap reading, whereas it doesn't get sweaty on my arm really. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> I I don't know if you're new here. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen your name around much, but um, I did used to race for Continental teams, yeah. So um, for like eight years. So, uh, yeah, that was horrible, wasn't it? That was horrible. Well done, everyone who rode. Anyone who's doing the Festive 500 now, um, I hope you're uh, getting those kilometers in. I can't, that's registered a zero. Lovely. So let's uh, save that. And then we'll head to... Uh, Don't worry, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep the stream going. Um, where's everybody? Which pace partner is everybody on? Mercury Island or Gold? 
Goalitopia. So, um, yeah, whoa, flipping heck. Still shaking. Go for Coco. A little bit steady. Steady Eddie. Oh, nice, Luke. Luke, that is a great Christmas present, isn't it? I gotta be honest. I think of of all the tests, I like the twenty minutes, but I do like the um, the kind of the time to exhaustion one, where you where you're riding kind of well over that. But <clears throat> oh, you're on the turkey duty today, aren't you? Oh, cinnamon rolls. I should have done. I should have done a U-turn. Yeah, it would have ruined my graph, though. <laughs> would have ruined my graph. <clears throat> okay, guys, I don't wanna I don't wanna keep you any longer. Um, unless, of course, you want me to keep streaming. Do you want me to keep streaming? Conscious that it is Christmas Eve, I don't want you all uh, spending your time on the on the live stream. But uh, if you want me to, I'll keep the stream rolling. If not, then uh, I bid you a very Merry Christmas. Charlie's gonna be, uh, Charlie's um, wanting to do the festive 500. So uh, I better get 30 minutes, 45 minutes in now, because she'll be on there later <laughs> riding. So, uh, I will do, Mr. T. Thank you very much. Same to you, too. I don't know whether I can join the... I don't know who's on Discord yet. See if... Uh, if you're not on a Discord server, by the way... <laughs> Sandra Ophir. I don't think I would have managed that FTP test with Sandra Ophir. I don't own one either, unfortunately. So I apologise. Ah, oh, we've got nobody in uh, nobody in Discord, so I shall uh, keep listening to music and talking to you a lot. Thank you, David. Thank you. I don't know which I prefer. To be honest, I know um, I know a lot of you are here because you like the live streams, but I don't know which ones I prefer. I don't know whether I prefer videos or live stream. I like the fact that on a live stream, I can just talk, um, and uh, you know, have a bit of company, I suppose. Um, you know, whether that be on the bike or off the bike, because I know some of you like to use live streams as a not as an excuse, but, you know, jump on the bike at the same time and then you feel like you're riding with somebody, although on Zwift you can actually ride with somebody, can you? Um, and the other thing as well is, the videos are like, are like, uh, I don't know, they're just a way of being a little bit more creative and things, aren't they? Horizontal on the floor. I mean, to be honest, I'd like to be horizontal on the floor as well. But Charlie always tells me not to. There's something about blood pressure and like 
you know, if you can, you should try and avoid it. Um, you should try and like sit up with your back against the wall or, you know, like don't go horizontal because, uh, well, I don't know exactly why, but something to do with blood flow back to the brain, like it goes back too quick or something like that, I don't know. Someone will know. Someone will know. Ah, oh, thank you. Have a good one, Daniel. Have a good one. Speak to you soon. Is it B Wiggins? Oh, Wiggins. B Wiggins. <laughs> what was it, Bradley Wiggins? Oh, there's Bryn. Bryn's in here. Bryn Griffiths. How do you join Backpedal? Well, those of you that are new, we have a Discord uh, community. So, um, that's clever. On Discord, it has next to my name. I'm streaming Amp the Zwift FTP test. That's clever, isn't it? Um, let me just... Uh, So we have um yeah we have a we have a, a community over on Discord. You get the app on your phone and uh, or or on your desktop computer or whatever. Um, loads of racing chat in there. We also have a backpedal Zwift team. We've got about eight or nine teams in the Zwift Racing League. Um, it's a pretty like <laughs> uh, it's well run. I gotta be honest. Like the you know the volunteers and the all credit to the people in the community who love what they do. Um, have I done pro racing before? Yeah, I raced. I raced for eight years as a professional. Um, from eighteen, turned pro when I was eighteen, and then uh, because. Um, in the UK, I don't know if you're from the UK or not, but teams were like really struggling for sponsorship, and that was at the, the professional level. And so, uh, because I was doing stuff with YouTube and I was um, making a good thing of it, I was like, well, I wonder if I can do this full time as well as riding my bike at the same level. That's what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, I basically chose the decision, made the decision um, to take a foot out of racing for teams and more like racing for myself. Although, you know, the backpedal community is now technically, you know, a great, uh, great place for me to be in and out of that competitive mode. So I just, I just wanted the flexibility really to do stuff that I've always wanted to do. Like be my own boss sort of thing when it comes to cycling. That was a bit of a long answer, wasn't it? You're saying um, your heart rate doesn't get as high as it used to. Yeah, that's usually a sign of uh, good aerobic fitness if your heart rate's not climbing as high or as fast you know if it takes longer to get there um, you may also find that if your heart rate is higher after a rest day you may also find that it's because you're recovering a lot quicker than you used to um, I've uh, I've actually found that probably to be uh, sometimes a better indicator of how how good fitness I'm in if um, if I'm actually recovering better rather than putting out more watts 
Uh, I know we don't always fixate on recovery. We usually fixate on numbers. But yeah, um, it can be a good way. Hey Sean, how are you doing? Merry Christmas to you guys too. Big year for you next year. <laughs> oh, Ten minutes is gone already. <laughs> I think I'll do about 30 minutes and then I'll uh, I'll jump off then so you've got another 19 minutes with me <laughs> oh. I tell you what was quite difficult in that um, in that test back there was actually staying seated for as long as I did. I was intending to get out the saddle for the last five minutes, or in and out of the saddle, but I was starting to obviously get tired, and so you just opt for whatever's easiest, didn't you? Um, but uh, yeah, I'm obviously not used to being right on the edge of the saddle for 20 minutes. Well, I'm not, I might haven't done it for ages. So that's quite painful on my bits. <laughs> Have we got much planned for next year? Um, sort of. Uh, to be honest, next, I've just had, I've, have a, I've had a pants full. Next year, I just want to do everything. Whatever I get a chance of doing, I'm going for it. Because, uh, I just feel like we're losing our lives. Like, oh, that's how I've finally woken up. So, like, I feel like I need to just crack on. Like, and not worry about, ah, oh, you know, I'll book to go away somewhere in, like, June. Like, I should go now. Well, not that I can go now, but. You know, if I get an opportunity to go, I should just go. You know what I mean? I'm sure a lot of you who are far more experienced or older than me <laughs> will tell me the same thing. But those of you with families will say the exact same thing. Yeah, Candice got robbed. When was that? Like a week or two ago. Terrible. Yeah, I, I, I shared on Instagram yesterday, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, <coughs> quite simple, just Ed Lavrak on Instagram, but I, uh, <laughs> I, um, our flights are cancelled to Mallorca, so, and that was for the end of January, they've already been cancelled, so it's like a, yeah, it's a sign, I think. <laughs> it's a sign. Yeah, that's right, Phil, that's right.
Yeah, possibly Sammy. Possibly. Thank you, bro. I will pass on the message. Same to you. Thank you so much. Tell you what, I was um, I was speaking to uh, my mate Anthony, who I go out riding with often. He might even be listening now in the background while he's doing the Christmas turkey ready for tomorrow. But we were just talking about how you know the Rafa Festi 500 is such a big thing this time of year. It's a shame that it is this time of year. Like you know, when people have quite a lot of uh, things on their plate, if you pardon the pun. But um, you know, if it was in summer, it'd be awesome. But, you know, people often opt down to do it indoors because of the weather, like Charlie will do it. Majority of it indoors. And, uh... And, um... You know, how quick you rack up the mileage, like... Like, if we were to do it outdoors here, like, myself and Anthony, we usually end up averaging about 25k an hour. That's not flat out, obviously, that's just riding and chatting, but yeah, like it would take a big effort to try and clock up the mileage outside here. Yeah. You'd have to do a fairly big week, fairly big week of riding. <laughs> I would break into song ads, but you probably got me on loudspeaker. <laughs> Oh, we are eating. Oh. They're amazing chocolates, aren't they? There's a place um, not far from us on the motorway. That's the freeway for any of you in America. About half an hour away from you. Uh, it's called the MacArthur Glen Designer Outlet. I'm pretty sure Hotel Chocolat is there. I think. Ansel, though. Big chocolate fan. On Zwift hands, on Zwift you mean, there's a ton, oh I'm on the big screen, I better cover myself up. Dawn can see my nipples, how's that? Does Rian know I was sat in a chair the other day? <laughs> ah, yeah, there's tons of them, hands, tons of them. Oh, it certainly is this time of year, isn't it? Hey, Katie! I heard you had a filthy dropout in the backpedal festive throwdown. Did you redeem yourself last night? Nice one, Mateus. Epic FTP. Good job. Ah, nice one, Gunner. I'm going to be here for another 10 minutes and then I'll uh, tune out. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jack. Merry Christmas. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will, Hans.
Didn't you do it? You did a two minute personal best for the lap, didn't you? Two minutes. That was on uh, Bologna's uh, course, by the way, everybody. Katie, um. <laughs> Katie just turning herself inside out. <laughs> I like that phrase, turning yourself inside out. It sounds painful, doesn't it? Oh. Morning, Craig. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I, I can't post that now, Donis. Oh, the time has passed. So I uh, can't post it now because it's... It's Christmas, eh? I'll, uh, I'll post it next year sometime. Eh? <laughs> um. <laughs> you didn't even get one, Ant. Terrible. Jules will have one when he turns up. Surprise knock on the door over the next couple of days. Keep your wits about you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Katie. Nothing better than catching triple digits with zero effort. Why not, Craig? If you got the time, why not? And that's that's the great thing about the Festive 500. I would say um, it's great for people who can't usually get the time in to just get the time in. As long as the intensity isn't wickedly high, um, it's just amazing for getting that volume in that you don't usually get in. Is the Chong like the best? <laughs> Oh. The Cameron Jeffers bike. <laughs> no, that joke is that joke's old now. <laughs> that joke's old. Um It's not actually. Well, it is and it isn't. I think it's a pretty decent all rounder, but you're now starting to see more and more people move away from the Tron. Uh, especially if it's an out and out climbing race. Um you know, if it's out and out flat race, people go for the Cervelo with the with the disc combination. And I think as well because you know people are starting to get more savvy with like in races drafting more. So the Tron, you've only got one hand position on the handlebars, whereas on a standard bike in Swift you've got multiple hand positions, so you can tell when you're in the draft and when you're not. So uh, yeah. Oh, Tommy, epic, you're aiming for a 42, so 24 seconds in the bag, amazing. Hey, thank you, Dave, cheers. Keep it going, buddy. It's a pleasure to, to help you in some way, even, though, even if it's just me rambling like this on a, on a live stream. Yeah, the will, <laughs> yeah, the willpower. Yes, agreed. I think last week when I did that ride, I had six hours to do last week in one ride, and I thought, oh, I don't think I can face it. And um, I was told about a new cafe that opened in uh, in Cardiff, in in the city. Um, it's about uh, it's about 100 miles, or 160 kilometer round trip. And I thought that's a good excuse as any. I'm right there, three and a half hours it took me. Uh, left early, so I was there for like opening time. Got a nice coffee and then just rolled home and I had a tailwind as well. So it literally couldn't have been any better, I don't think. Unless maybe if Charlie was with me. 
Oh, Anthony, but Anthony can't do a ride over two hours in a minute <laughs> without an emergency coke. We all know about emergency cokes, don't we? Those of us to follow uh, bike racing on Mercy. Emergency cokes are needed sometimes. But don't worry, we're getting Anthony back to his best. <laughs> Although riding with me is not helping. Or we just end up riding for two hours and stopping at a cafe. <laughs> I'm a bad influence on Anthony. Uh, or to be honest, I'm a bad influence on everybody that rides in me outdoors. Oh, Ethan. That would make it into the antique segment. It was. It was well worth it. It was well worth it. Oh. Okay, four minutes to go, and then I'm going to hop off. So I appreciate uh, you tuning in on a, on a Christmas Eve morning. I'm going to go visit my granddad, who's uh, not been too well. Not with you know what. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go and pop over and see him. And uh, get ready for um, some, some yummy food. So yeah, like I said, wish you all a very Merry Christmas. That would be easier, wouldn't it, Hans? That would be easier. I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually be... Uh, I'd actually be happy if they did, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a chip. Although it's already in our phones. Our phones are pretty much, like, connected to us, so... <laughs> Merry Christmas, one and all. Hopefully, you don't get any call. But I uh, wish you the very best. No, I don't think it's open boxing day. <laughs> I don't think it's open boxing day. Either. My mum will probably make him a Christmas dinner, so. Yeah. Can't beat a mother's Christmas dinner. <laughs> Do I have Yorkshire puddings? Of course. Yorkshire puddings galore. Stuffing is probably my favourite. Mind. A good stuffing. My grandmother made the best stuffing. So my mum tries to make my grand's Christmas uh, Christmas stuffing, so. To be fair, she nails it, so. Merry Christmas! I love I love this. I love the fact you're all wishing this, each other Merry Christmas as well, which is the aim of the chat. Just very grateful to have a live chat. Very grateful for live streams. Very grateful for YouTube. I'm very grateful for you lot really for watching because wouldn't have wouldn't have most of this so. It is a season for being grateful this year, for sure. So, thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the side, everybody. See you on the other side. Have a good weekend. I will catch you soon. <laughs>